election. Sections already leaked feature criticism, sometimes harsh, of then-President Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and Bernie Sanders, among others. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen takes a look at what we know about what happened and reaction to it. With her third memoir entitled What Happened, Hillary Clinton's account of her life story now runs 1,709 pages and includes stinging criticism of her 2016 Democratic primary rival, Senator Bernie Sanders. His attacks caused lasting damage, Clinton writes, making it harder to unify progressives in the general election and paving the way for Trump's crooked Hillary campaign. He didn't get into the race to make sure a Democrat won the White House. He got in to disrupt the Democratic Party. And some of the excerpts I've read, Secretary Clinton takes responsibility for the decisions of the campaign, but what were those decisions? What were the thinking that went into them? And how do we make the most of that and learn from what happened in 2016 as we approach the midterms in 2018 and the next presidential election in 2020? Mrs. Clinton says President Obama urged her to grit my teeth and lay off Bernie as much as I could. I felt like I was in a straitjacket. As for former Vice President Biden, he recently proffered his own account of what happened. What happened was that uh, this is the first campaign that I can recall where my party did not talk about what it always stood for and that is how to maintain a burgeoning middle class. I find this fairly remarkable, counters Clinton, considering that Joe himself campaigned for me all over the Midwest and talked plenty about the middle class. She also voices regret that she accepted AIDS advice and did not hit back hard against then FBI Director James Comey after he labeled her use of a private email server extremely careless. How are you? NBC News anchor Matt Lauer also draws fire for what Clinton considers inequitable treatment afforded her and Donald Trump during a televised forum last fall. I was ticked off. NBC knew exactly what it was doing here. The network was treating this like an episode of The Apprentice in which Trump stars and ratings soar. I can't say I didn't fantasize about shaking some sense into Lauer while I was out there, Clinton writes, adding, I was almost physically sick. And that's the same reaction from some Democrats dismayed by Clinton's three-month publicity tour. Three-term Democratic Congressman Jared Huffman of California told Politico it's difficult, even for former supporters of Mrs. Clinton like him, to endure, quote, all the media cycles about the blame game, Brett, and the excuses. Talk about it with the panel. James, thank you.